So this is a Stroh violin um, invented by Augustus Stroh. And I believe it was invented in the 19th century and was taken up primarily for use of making it easier to record stringed instruments. So they made a whole family of this, it's not just the violin, a um, whole family of uh, stringed instruments with aluminium uh, horns coming out of them to project the sound better. It's much more direct sound as well. And so these were very popular for recording before electric microphones were, were a thing. And then in the 1920s, uh, that was indeed invented in terms of electric microphones. So this type of violin was um, not disused, but used less and taken up mostly by jazz and folk musicians, uh, mostly in the modern day. Um, it's quite a heavy instrument compared to a normal violin. So when you wear it on your shoulder, it tends to kind of fall this way, so it's a little bit to compensate for, and, um, but it's got a really nice direct sound. It's really, really responsive. Um, I think that might be why a lot of folk and jazz musicians have taken it up, because it really picks up your ornamentation and there's immediate feedback there, because it's not sort of working with air inside, it's going directly through the wood and the aluminium. Okay, so the tune I've just played you is called Bulchenska Rachenitsa. It's a Bulgarian tune and disputed from exactly which area of Bulgaria it's from, from what I've heard so far, potentially very near Romania. And the, the meaning of Bulchenska Rachenitsa is a, a bridal Rachenitsa, so quite a celebratory tune. So the tune I have just played you is called Turkish Honga. It's a very much contemporary tune, um, first played by the band uh, Ot Azoi. And they play music from so many different places, lots of Romanian, Balkan, uh, Polish influences, Greek influences. They play music from absolutely everywhere. And they are the first people to play this tune. And I think it works perfectly with this instrument. <laughs> 